ghost fishing is a big problem. And for those of you who don't know about ghost fishing, what happens is um, fishermen sometimes put out nets and uh, they leave them there uh, because that's the way the nets work. But if they get swept away from the bottom, then they may lose them and they end up going around the, the, the ocean catching fish. And what's really problematic is that um, the animals get caught in the net, they die, and then they rot, and then the net can float up again and keep continue ghost fishing. And part of the challenge there is that a lot of the nets now are made from um, plastic type material that doesn't degrade very easily. A hundred years ago, everyone used um, cotton-based nets, which did break down relatively quickly, but if you lost the net, then it would stop ghost fishing fairly quickly. Um, but nowadays they will, um, they can stay around for many, many years. And so um, some of the solutions to this are to put um, uh, tracking devices on nets as you put them out. And so there's a chance then you can recover them if they get away. Um, certainly putting identifiers on nets, so you can at least return them to the owner um, if they're caught. But trying to be really careful about your fishing gear and, uh, and setting it out in ways that you're going to get it back and that it won't easily become dislodged. I think that's really important.